Look at this. So this is brand new. Look at this. Feels a little flimsy when it's fully extended like this. This already feels weird. You can see the band here versus here. You don't have to buy them. Just trust my review. I'm gonna put all the links in comment below. This is the one to get. I absolutely love telescoping letters. I know a lot of guys are skeptical about them. I have uh, all type of letters at my own house, but telescoping letter by Extend and Climb always been my two go letter over the years. I've tested them all. Today, I wanna show you the difference between three different letters. Went to Amazon and I got one Extend and Climb 15.5, exactly the same letter that I have at my house and had for past eight years, still, fully functional, I have two-story house, I go on the roof all the time and I love it, but I wanna show you how it compares today to Telesteps and also uh, we're gonna compare it to cheaper Chinese ladder. So how cheap Chinese actually is the tallest one between three, we're gonna compare 16.5 reach, Telesteps is uh, the shortest one, 14.5 and Extend and Climb is 15.5. Extend and Climb is $500, $497. Telesteps is $568.97. And Chinese is only $149. But we're talking about safety. Letters are huge safety concern for me and for many in construction industry. So if you're a adjuster, if you're a roofer, if you're checking roofs on a regular basis, you want the most reliable letter on the market. And this is why I want to introduce you to my uh, <clears throat> favorite letter of all. This one is Telesteps first. We're going to drop them on the scale here. Uh, according to the paperwork, extending climb is the heaviest, 40 pounds at least what listing says and telesteps should be about 30 pound 25 percent lighter so telesteps is still playing their game they always do it they always advertise a reach it says 18 feet climbing height so don't be fooled it's actually the shortest letter here it's only extends 14.5 feet many many roofers who are using them are certain and they're sure that this is 18 foot letter it's actually 14.5 letter but the same logic if we apply that marketing gimmick to extend and climb that would be 19 foot letter so let's check it out so 31.8 okay here's a 50 dollars cheaper it's about 10 percent cheaper by the way, this video is not sponsored. I've never been sponsored by Extend and Climb. Much better packaging, by the way. So nice foam. This already feels heavier. Let's draw it. 39.1, about nine pounds heavier. Look at this. So this is brand new. Look at this. Chinese ladder is actually already damaged because something hit this ladder so it was damaged and it's not a lot of damage but enough to break very first so Amazon we are returning this to you because this is prime this is obviously Amazon tape this already feels weird so eager let's uh, return this 27 pounds, five pounds lighter than the lightest letter. Now I'm gonna take it outside. I'm gonna test all of them. Um, actually, every single letter is at least 300 pounds. So funny enough that this letter right here, Fleet 16.5, claims to be the uh, 330 pound capacity. Extend and Climb has 300 pound capacity and uh, Telesteps is also 300 pounds a rated letter. A lot of description says may provide up to 18 feet reach. By the way, I have a message to Telesteps. So Telesteps have removed one of my videos from YouTube from 2018. They filed copyright claim and they were able to remove it, I guess, because we use some of their footage. So 
If you're the brand and you don't like our reviews, the best thing is to reach out to us, work with us. If we made a mistake, something that I said was not accurate, I'm a very reasonable person. I'll delete the video myself if I made a mistake or I will make a follow-up apologizing for the mistake I made. But if you're gonna uh, report it to YouTube and you're gonna file copyright for claim and you try to remove the video, I'm gonna make two more to replace it and it's probably not gonna be good for you. So Telesteps always been playing marketing gimmick, uh, brainwashing people that their letters are taller than they actually are. Now they're changing it, but they're still saying that one touch release up to 18 feet reach. It's all, and right there, it actually says 18 feet on a box. So they change it in description, I guess, because of legal reasons they have to, but on the package, still says 18 foot ladder. Telesteps, you're not making 18 foot ladder, you're making 14.5 foot ladder. It's misleading marketing, misleading advertising. We're gonna keep calling you out. You're actually more money than your better competitor. And, but let me show you. So good rule for every four feet, you wanna be at least one foot of the wall. So if they're about 15 feet, we wanna be about five feet of the wall. Telesteps. You have to extend the entire ladder. You can see this is not very tall building, but we barely can reach it. I guess it's at least 18 feet. Feels a little flimsy when it's fully extended like this. I guess I am reaching 18 feet. Very flimsy. You can see it bends. Let's try this Chinese piece of crap. It's already dented. Thank you, Amazon. All right. So here's the 16.5, 27 pound, 330 pound ladder. It actually feels sturdier than telesteps. You can feel, you can see the band here versus here. It doesn't mean that I trust it more all of this plastic. When I tested them last time, if you hit it hard enough, it breaks. And I've seen um, pictures from insurance adjusters when they do break, don't feel very safe on this guy. Would never buy this one for myself. One thing to note, very, very big span between the steps, tele steps. I want to say it has more steps actually. One, two, three, four, five, 15, 13. So this one is two feet shorter, but it has more steps. This one is taller, but you have to also make way bigger steps. I'm a tall guy, but still, when you're on the ladder, it doesn't feel as safe. Now, my little champion, my favorite ladder of all times. One thing I do like about this one versus telesteps that you can lock it at any height. So if you only want to go, you know, in a little shed, you don't have to extend it all the way, just like telesteps. This is Pro Series. This is the best extend and climb ladder they make. So here you can see it makes all the way to the top. Out of three, has the best steps. Very, very sturdy. Telesteps is not bad, but they're white. actually very close, but this one still feels much thicker you can see how small of the step that is the ribs are very nice oh yeah barely gives lots of steps you can actually see have one two three four it gains few more steps compared to chinese and you don't have to make I mean, it's about 10% shorter step, maybe even 
it has 16 steps versus 13. It has three more steps than Chinese one, and it's one foot shorter. Actually, it doesn't even look like one foot. Looks like maybe eight, 10 inches. For the sake of my own safety, I'm not gonna go with a 50 pounder today, but the winner is extended climb. It's cheaper, it's heavier, has amazing steps. It's very th sturdy. This ladder never let me down. Again, hashtag not sponsored. If you're looking for the best ladder in the market, it's still extending climb. For eight years testing them, I still yet to find a better telescoping ladder. And the rest, be very careful, especially with Chinese brands. When I originally tested them in 2018 or 17, I remember some of them broke in half when I tried to walk with them with the kettlebells back at the time. And I've seen plastic breaks very easily. I was hitting them with the sledgehammers. They're not built the same. Despite the fact that they have the same standard, the same certification, you know, on paper, you want to trust your gut, you want to trust the number. And the number to look at the letter is how much they weight and how do they feel. You don't have to buy them, just trust my review. I'm going to put all the links in comment below. This is the one to get. Thank you. Comment below what you think and what's your favorite letter.